can see on the steering column there's no adjustment at all you've got backwards forwards like so that's all you've got so if you're a taller or a shorter driver you can raise the seat up and down but the steering wheel is still in the same place it's got the old-fashioned diff lock on the floor down here which means if you lose traction going up the slope and you don't want it in permanent front axle lock you're off back down the bank back down the slope pretty quick which it often does lose traction uh, engine power wise very very poor the same as fuel economy very very poor uh, pushing capacity again very very poor we had a machine here I'm not going to say to make it was a ton lighter and would push twice as much it's, it is just an, it's got to be the worst environment to sit in ever I've never driven a machine so uncomfortable and so bad there's just no refinement in it at all it's just so basic and I was talking to an engineer who come to repair it and he said they haven't changed the machine for five years there's been no updates on them at all for five years so you buy a new one you get in the same again the only thing I will say is the engine is very reliable this one's done nearly 12,000 hours never really much of a problem with it a ZF gearbox same again it's pretty good it's done a lot of hours but probably that's why it's getting a little bit weak on pushing steering absolutely diabolical the worst ever but in all the machine they're just terrible they're awful if you have to be in a machine like this for 12 hours a day you get out and you're absolutely shattered because the camp such a poor environment to be in it's just awful well that's enough moaning about Dell hopefully we're, the company I work for will change them soon and we can get some decent machines in there thank you very much for listening and watching bye